about these matches today because Ricardo Jean is a CSWE, that's a certified SolidWorks expert, and he's a mechanical engineer, and he's number eight seed on the qualifying board. And K Customs is the number nine seed mechanical engineer and international welding engineer from Greece. So we got Italy versus Greece today, SolidWorks versus SolidWorks, but most importantly, number eight seed versus number nine seed, you know these matches are going to be close. And let's see here if we can learn a little bit about our runners. Maybe, Ivan, maybe you could do the honors of uh, telling us a little bit about these runners. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, Ricardo from Italy, he says he loves his wife. She's everything to me. That's, that's a great sign, man. I, I support you there. I, I do the same. Um, he's used SolidWorks since 2006 version. That's wow. going back a ways. There's a few yeah. things that's changed since then. Uh, my first version, I think, was 99. Wow. And uh, let me tell you, that looked a little different than it does today. Yeah. <laughs> uh, K Customs from Greece. He's uh, working with SolidWorks since 2020. Uh, maybe you took it up as a, a COVID hobby. I'm not sure. You know, everybody had a little more time on their hands back then. Yeah. Um, mostly designed sheet metal parts. Hey, I'm right there with you, man. I design sheet metal every day, all day. Uh, mountain biker. Uh, drift car driver. That's awesome. We got mountains real close by here and do some biking too. So yeah, that sounds cool. Yeah. It sounds like he's really into, I like how even his profile picture is him on a cart. So it sounds like he's spending a lot yeah. of time outdoors. So absolutely. All Let's right, do guys, it. let's get into it here. This very first matchup in our CAD vs. CAD speed modeling tournament between Ricardo Jean seed number eight from Italy and K custom seed number nine from Greece begins in Three, two, one, go. What is the mass of this part in XXX grams? The tolerance on this part is plus or minus one gram. This is in millimeters. It's 1060 aluminum alloy. Our runners are grabbing a screen capture of this print so that they can continue modeling. And they're already into it. Let's flip over and catch the action. So in a model like this or in any 3D CAD model, the first thing you need to decide on is what is going to be my starting plane? What is going to be my starting profile? And you can see just how closely these guys are matched. It looks like they're almost creating the exact same sketch at the exact same time. This is intense. Ricardo Jean on the left opting to include those fillets in that first sketch. K Customs on the right drawing first blood by creating the very first feature in solids. But uh, let's see if it pays off for Ricardo to do kind of some of this layout work in that very first sketch. We often see these different techniques, Ivan. Some of the runners prefer to do a lot of layout work in that first sketch. Other runners prefer to do kind of one feature at a time. Which way would you say that you swing? Yeah, yeah. Honestly, you know what? And I, you've talked about this before, but as more people have used the layout method, it's kind of caught on to it a little bit as well and it can be really effective but honestly when you get in a tournament like this you forget a lot of those strategies and those really fine-tuned things if you use them enough they come to your mind but when when you're in it in the thick of it here you kind of i find you kind of revert back to how you always did things you just start <laughs> hacking away yeah uh, sometimes looks a little messy but you just you just go into it you just go into it and hack away i think it's kind of that same thing when you're when you're doing uh you know work on your own also like if you just need to real quick do something before the kids wake up you just you end up like reverting back oh, yeah. to those previous skills Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So we saw Ricardo Jean was able to get in there and add that curved cut on the bottom of this part. That curved cut on the bottom of this part is actually what is sometimes referred to as an anti-Ivan exploit. What it means is that those holes need to be precisely located because the uh, two faces are not parallel to one another. So both of our runners now have that curved face on the bottom. Uh, we can see that Ricardo Jean was the one who kind of started out with doing all of that layout work, but now he's already on to that upper section of the model. And uh, we see that it looks like K Customs on the right is right hot on his heels. He's creating that same feature, that kind of fin that's going up to the top of the model. This is uh this is like watching a tennis match going back and forth. Absolutely. Yeah, it's it's looking good. I like that comment too about Wally at the start. You know, you look at the drawing and you 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 need to study it for a bit. You but you want to get a just a quick look at it and like what am I looking at and and you know what are the, kind of the number of features the quickest way I can do this. Yes. Yep. And that's what makes this uh this tournament unique. You know, because it, it's, it's something that, uh, you know, we want people to kind of have their best practices in mind. We want them to practice their best practices. But then when you get under the, the, the gun and you're going against another expert, 
you know, you're constantly thinking like, how far ahead are they? How far ahead are they? And, and sometimes you forget yeah. about those, those things you've been practicing. Absolutely. And so we see here that on the left, it looks like Ricardo Jean is using what's known as contour selection. So he's created this kind of layout that's, that, that consists of multiple closed contours. And then he's able to go around and just pick individual contours to declare how far he wants those to extrude out. Kind of similar to the layout technique we were talking about earlier. And there we see Ricardo on the left using that window select for the fillets, something else that I, I definitely didn't think about before I started seeing these live competitions. So uh, great, a great technique for everybody to kind of go back and review. So Ricardo getting up to that top section, creating those counter bores up in the top section, kind of bringing home the uh, final features on this model. But we don't know if he's got it right. If he made a mistake, he could leave the door open for K Customs to come through. Uh, K Customs on the right, creating that kind of angled fin going up to that upper section. Looks like Ricardo Jean is doing the what we call the final spin, looking over the model. And we may see an answer coming in here. And Ricardo Jean comes in with an answer, and his answer is five, six, nine grams. And that is correct. So congratulations to Ricardo Jean. Coming in there with that correct answer. Well done, my friend. Drawing first blood there, taking the first point. These paddles do go to the first person who wins two points. Look at how close K Customs was behind him. They were neck and neck that whole matchup, but Ricardo Jean was able to take that one down. GG to Ricardo Jean. Put a GG in the chat for Ricardo Jean. Well done, my friend. Congratulations. He's fast, huh, Ivan? Absolutely. Yeah, that was that was tremendous. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. That, well done. That is a speedy user. That's an experienced user. I saw one little hiccup that I know that you've run into before, Ivan, where you, you go to try to dimension an angle dimension, and then you accidentally click on the midpoint, and then it gives you that weird distance dimension. Um, and yep. he, he, he saw that happen. It happened. Uh, this is Ricardo Jean I'm talking about.